Welcome to the class on reinforcement learning and artificial neural networks. Let's, let's just remind ourselves of a couple of uh, facts. We start in the state S and then we have a policy for choosing different actions. Most often it's a stochastic policy such as epsilon greedy or softmax. And then we go from one state to the next state, from state S prime to some other states. And so the first aspect of stochasticity and the first branching ratio corresponds to these policies. And then for a given fixed policy, we have another branching ratio that corresponds to the fact that even if I have taken action A1 in state S, there are still several possibilities I could end up in different continuing states S prime. And this is described by the stochasticity of the environment, this branching ratio P A1 S to S prime. And then a super important um, value in the context of these state action graphs is the Q value. What is this Q value? As we have seen, the Q value summarizes the total discounted reward. There's a discount factor gamma, and then we accumulate the reward over several time steps. And it's important that this discount factor is smaller than one because typical state transition graphs have these recurrent connections. And then we have seen that the Bellman equation describes the Q values at one state action pair with the Q values further down in the next state tr action transition of the graph. So the Q, the, the Bellman equation really is a consistency condition between Q values at two different levels of the graph. It's neighboring levels. This is a state action pair and this is the next state action pair. Now the SASA algorithm implements this state action pair condition, this consistency condition between state action pairs. Let's start in this state S. We choose a first action. That means we are on this branch here. Then we observe the reward. We observe the next state S prime in this state Again, we have to choose the next action. And once we have chosen this action, then we actually have the information necessary for the update of the Q values. So now we know we are on this branch, so we can read off the Q value Q of S prime A prime, and then we use this to update the Q value at the branch up there. Let's discuss this from a slightly different perspective of backup diagrams. So we, I said we start in a state S. So let's draw this state S. And then we take a first action. Let's draw this action just as a dot. Then we go to the next state S prime. Let's draw this as a circle. Then we decide to take a next action. Let's draw this as a dot. And once we are down here, we would be able to update the Q value up here. So the Q value at this branch, SA, at this branch here can be updated once we are here. And now we continue. I said we are at this action. We go to the next state. We are at this state now, we take the next action, and you see that this graph continues and continues. And now again, once I'm down here at this branch, that means once I've decided that I want to do this action, then I can update the Q value up here. Now, this backup diagram is this minimal distance, the minimal state action, state action part 
that we need to take into account. So this would be a backup diagram. And here's the backup diagram, the way Sutton and Bartle draw it. Here again, the TD, uh, the Saxa algorithm, an online algorithm, you always have, have the policy, what I called little r with index t is here just the symbol r and then alpha is the learning rate and so what i said is you need to pick the next action before you update so once you're down at the next action you can update now they in their book Sutton and Bartow only go back to the next action one could argue it's really the next that the previous state action pair because it's state and action that's known. But the idea is that once you are on, the action defines the branch. So we now know that we are on this branch. In summary, the backup diagram gives a short pictorial representation of how much information you have to keep in memory before you can update the Q value that is in memory. The, relative, the, the relevant variable is the Q value here. This is the one we want to learn. And we need to go to the next state and next action before we can update the Q value up here.